Hello everyone, it's Jackie, back for another GameStop video. So, um, we just really haven't made a, a video on this in a little while because I just really don't have much more to add. You know, we were hoping that when we uh, hit this double bottom zone that we would make a uh, big bounce off of that, right? Because we talked about gold center, gold boom. Now, in this instance here, right, we were really hopeful that insiders would kind of step up and help propel price. And uh, obviously that didn't happen, right? And volume has been really minimal. The bullish divergence that we were hopeful to form on the daily pretty much got eliminated on this larger candle here, right? And so the bullish divergence that made it look like things were maybe potentially going to find a bottom uh, was pretty much dusted. And now with today's candle... You closed basically at the low of the day. And so this is a big nasty candle. You've broken the prior lows. You've rejected the golden pocket of the fib fork. So I mean at this stage, right, it seems all but likely that GameStop is going to uh, do the thing that we have talked about. <clears throat> in which we are going to complete this harmonic structure. You're going to test the 886 of this Fibonacci fork. And then if I turn the Fibonacci fork off for you really quick here you'll see that the lower white trend line of the bull flag or whatever you want to call it that we fit in this channeled structure the bottom of the trend line matches at that right same area okay and then if we zoom in a little bit more we can see that the DFB headband line is down there at 965 960 and then we see the mega macro 0.5 Fibonacci from the bottom to the top of the squeeze is sitting here at eight dollars and eighty three cents so as far as support is concerned within that green circle, there is just a wide variety of support areas. And so that's why we're anticipating a very significant bounce off of this right now. Uh, when we try to be a little predictive, there are some tools that we can use in technical analysis that allow us to do a little bit of predicting. One of those being a, a Fibonacci time zone. This Fibonacci time zone is kind of suggesting somewhere around the beginning of May uh, as a potential point of uh, interest and then if I open up some of the other uh, Fibonacci time zones that I've set up you can also see that we've got another one that lines up on May 14th so that area seems to be rather important if we turn on the Fib circles well once again oddly enough there's a Fibonacci circle that just so happens to align all within that very same green circle isn't that quite interesting and we turn on our Fibonacci channel and then suddenly we realize there's also a Fibonacci channel that sits there, right? We turn on our Fib fork, there's the 886. Like, I could go on about this all day, right? But there's enough interesting technical artifacts on this chart that suggest that GameStop is going to make some level of a move. Now, up or down, obviously we don't know. That's why we do technical analysis, right? That's why we put all of this stuff together and we try to formulate a, a plan, right? And so I look at this and I say to myself, okay, we've got a harmonic structure. We've got the bottom of this trend line. The bottom of this trend line is so important because every single time GameStop has tested it, we've made big moves. This one most recently at 60%. This one here for 140 This one here for 150 this one here for 50 and then this one up here to the tune of 66 so you guys can see every test of this trend line led to a big move you also have the harmonic completion in there then you have the buys that dfb made down here and then on top of all that we go to the monthly time frame you were testing the monthly 200 period moving average for the very first time in this stock's history a very very important technical artifact Right, something that was never tested before. And now we can see that we are currently in the process of testing it. Now there's still 21 days left, right? There's still 21 days left, so there's still lots of time to have some completion of this thing, right? But looking at this chart, right, there is just such a, a layer and such a such a conglomerate of technical artifacts that all align within this zone right here. That it just, I mean, this is the buy zone. This is the spot, right? This is the spot that, as far as I'm concerned, not financial advice, it looks like, you know, the great spot. 
And arguably, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know, whether you, you open a position here or you try and time the bottom or whatever it is that you're trying to do, right? It doesn't matter where you're buying, right? The idea is, is that this thing is going to find a bottom, whether or not it fishes for that bottom or just makes a monster explosion. It is going to make that bottom and it is going to make a huge explosion. Not because I said so, because the chart has historically suggested as much. And so that's what we're paying attention to, right? So there's just, there's not a whole ton of things to say about GameStop right now. We're just in this time frame where we have to have patience. And there's going to be terrible articles that come out and everything under the sun is going to tell you, yeah, we should sell this because Ryan Cohen's given up on us and this, that, and the other and blah, blah, blah. And then you've got IGN, who's literally a video game reviewer, writing articles about GameStop. Like, try to look more desperate, right? Like, holy shit, man. So, guys, like, I have said this so many times, and I know it's really difficult because we've been doing this for three years. Right? Three years of this, but we have to have patience. Because when GameStop gets down here... This is where we could see a big explosion. This is where we could see an event. This is where we could see an announcement from GameStop and from Ryan Cohen. This is where, like, GameStop is at the stage where anything goes now. The hedge funds know it. The people who are short this know it. And that's why you're seeing all the bearish articles, all the bearish stuff, all coming out all at the same time. It's, it's not a coincidence. It's because this is like, you know... It's the final countdown. Ba -da -da -da. Like, that's where we're at with GameStop right now. Like, that is where we're at. Because eventually, something is going to break. Whether it's a short who wants to cover a position that they took way back when, right? Or whether it's just buyers start stepping in and mass on this, insiders start buying, whatever it is. There will be some sort of seismic event in this green circle that just causes absolute chaos in, on GameStop's chart. Okay. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you guys, now please, for the love of Jesus, please do not take this as a one-to-one -one thing. I'm going to turn this on the chart, and I can already hear the fucking panic, so I already tossed up the idea of sharing this with you, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because I don't do fractal trading. I hate all of that garbage. I think it's some of the most bullshit stuff of all time but i'm paying attention to this i'm just watching this and the reason i'm watching this is because it's tracking so well and it kind of freaks me out how well it's tracking you know from this little thing to this and blah 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 right so uh, i think that it's right here on the pattern and so if i'm right gamestop should gap up tomorrow morning and then it should have a little bit of a fake out pump so I'm going to wait to see if that happens, and if it does, I mean, you guys can see the pattern. The pattern doesn't mean that you're going to go down here to $8.20. That's not what it means. It's that history does not often repeat, but it often rhymes, and this is the definition of a rhyme. And the reason that I took this structure uh, where I did is because we talked about this, this zone, right, that we had been in for what nine weeks basically where it was just nine weeks of complete garbage price action well you guys will notice that if i take this very same circled zone and i apply it to this right here it just so happens to perfectly match and so the orange pattern that you see is this right here right and so again i know it looks freaky 44 percent so we take it from the top of this here to 44%. And that just so happens to align with the mega macro 0.5 Fibonacci at 883. Now, do I think it gets there? I'm not convinced. I personally think that 963 is going to be a brick wall. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But listen, I am tracking that pattern because it is just, I mean, it's placing so damn well. Right, and now that I've shared this with you, this is where, you know, Ken Griffin's going to be like, ah, that Jackie Latitz gang, and the, they know about it. They know, we got to change it, guys. We got to change it. So, <laughs> fractal patterns are stupid, and don't trade fractal patterns as one-to-one, -one, okay? But I'm just noticing similarities within the structures. And so, we'll see what ultimately happens, but the bottom of this structure is this U-shape right here. So, this is the bottom of that structure that I have taken. 
and then this is the move that is made before this famous fuck you. Obviously, we were hoping that the fuck you was going to be when we made this routing formation here, but as you guys can see, that didn't happen, right? That very clearly didn't happen. But they very clearly now restructured the very same horns, right? This is the horns. That is the horns. Sharp move, base, sharp move. Rounding formation, fuck you. Right? So, we're going to be patient. I'm just going to let it kind of play out as it is. Okay? But, um, yeah, GameStop, guys. I know people are really upset or really sad or really impatient or whatever it is. Believe me, I'm right there with you. But the more patience that we show within this, right? I, I promise you, like, this is going to be a trade that will blow people's fucking doors off. But let all of the stupid fucking idiots on Twitter and YouTube and whatever else, right? Let them just talk. Let them talk. Let them blah, 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 blah. Because that's what they do best, right? They talk. Right? But we're traders. And we walk. We don't just talk the talk. We walk the walk. And so these guys can talk about GameStop as much as they want, about it going down, etc., etc., etc. They're going to pile into shorts before this thing makes an unholy move. And they're going to be the same guys that no longer talk on Twitter because they got their shit liquidated. So trust me when I say, this is a war of attrition, and it's always about patience, right? And it's always being smarter than the enemy. The enemy right now currently has the advantage because everybody's acting like a bunch of fucking little babies. And we've got to we've got to toughen up and realize like these are billionaires we're talking about. You guys thought that they were just gonna give us their money. You guys thought that they were just gonna hand over their billions of dollars to a bunch of apes who were like, mm, I just like the stock. <laughs> I love the stock, bro. But they were never going to just hand over their money. This is a battle now, and the battle means educating ourselves and learning how the shit functions. And it's not being a corporate shill by telling you that it's going to $9, right? And now you see everybody talking about GameStop going to $5, right? That's the new hot thing that you see on Twitter and Superstock. Oh, we're going to five, guys. We're going to five. Not five guys, burgers and fries, but we're going to $5, right? Like, and this is why people are going to miss this trade again, because everybody's going to sit there. And wait for $5 when we have very clear technical support between here and basically 880 I mean, this thing can bounce at any stage from here to 880 And it will be an explosive bounce. But like I said, it's going to be uh, like, I mean, if the pattern structures out the same way and everything does as it should, right? You guys can see, like, this is a relentless downtrending move. This lasted 36 days. Right, just to put this into like into uh, into the eyes for you, right? So this makes sense to put this into perspective. That's what I was trying to say, stupid idiot. This has only been 13 days. This downtrend could be relentless. This could literally last all month. Are you prepared for that? Are you prepared for that? Maybe sell some covered calls against your position for now. Right, because we all know that when this shit gets down here, apes are going to start buying it in mass. And it might not just be apes this time. We might actually find support from some of our friends, some of our large whale friends. And that's what we're betting on. When it gets down here, that's what we're betting on is the whales show up. And they say enough's enough. We're good. That's we're fine. That's the bottom. Thank you. So now, guys, it's patience, 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 patience. And I will continue to preach it until you guys are rich. And then after you guys are rich, you'll be like, damn, that man was right. I just had to have patience. So thank you all for tuning in. This has been a great GameStop video. It's been one of the shorter ones, but it's very good, very happy. Oh, I said shorter. It's actually been 14 minutes, so good one. <laughs> All right, so thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and I will see you this week. We have a fun week ahead of us.